So I'm hoping that you guys know that we all have our own will. Our will is our ability to be able to choose what we want. Hey guys, it's Revolutionary. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this day's Revolutionary Seed titled Aligning Your Will with His. Some people might have a negative thought about what it means to align our will with God's will. The purpose of all of that is not to hurt us, but it's to help us to move forward. It's to help us to have opportunities in order to grow, opportunities to do better than what we have been doing, and it allows us to connect with those that God placed in our lives to help us to move forward. There are several things that can help us align our will with his. But today I'm just gonna share a few with you. The first thing I would like to share with you is listening. Are you listening to what God says? I have said this so many times before, but it's truly important. Are you listening? And what do I mean by listening? Maybe he's speaking to you audibly. Maybe he's speaking to you through your thoughts, through something that you read, through another person's conversation with you, through reading the Bible. That's a big thing right there. Through listening to a sermon, God speaks to us in many different ways. We just have to be able to keep our eyes and our ears open in order to listen to him. And if you're struggling with that, may we keep that as a prayer. God, speak to me. Give me the ability to be able to hear what you're saying to me. Open my eyes, open my ears. This is something that you can pray. I have done this multiple times. And because I have experienced this, I can tell you that it works. The second thing I'd like for you guys to pay attention to is faith and action. So faith, as I said before, is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance for the things that we do not see. And you should combine your faith with actions because the Bible tells us to do so. It says specifically that faith without works is dead. So if you're having faith in that something will happen and you're not working towards whatever that is, most likely it might not happen. Sometimes there are circumstances where God will make a miracle happen and it'll happen out of nowhere. But that's not always the case. So we should always combine our faith with our works. For example, when I was saying I was going to do this channel again, I kept saying it a lot and I kept praying about it a lot. But if I'm not going to reach forward and actually put my foot into actually working it out and doing what I got to do to make these videos, it just is not going to happen. How can I be granted a platform and just expect, hey, it's going to happen and I don't do anything and I don't make the videos? How is that even possible? Faith with action. That's what you got to do. And the third thing that's going to help you is correcting your mistakes. So as I said before, we all make mistakes. It happens. The Bible says that everyone falls short of the glory of God. We are not able to go in this life without making a mistake at all. We are not Jesus. However, we should try to strive to be like him. That doesn't mean that we won't make mistakes. So when those things happen, when you do something that maybe you're not proud of, maybe you're put in a circumstance that you respond in a way you shouldn't, or maybe you're in a circumstance right now that you're not proud of. We all have these things happen to us, but in order for us to move forward, we have to work on these things. Things. One of the things that I learned is that God will meet you where you are and he won't leave you where you are. He will continue to help you move towards being a better person, being able to be that person that he is calling you to be. I personally have things that I need to work on and there have been things in the past that I needed to work on that God has helped me through. And with these things that I have to work on right now in this moment in my life, I know God is going to work on me and I know he's going to be faithful and see me through through these things that I need help with. I like to say that when you're when you make a mistake, you're not defined by that mistake. You're defined by what you do after that mistake, because the enemy, he's going to remind you of what you did wrong. But we have the opportunity to do better. We have an opportunity to be a better person and make a better decision. God lets us have that in our will. When you're listening to God and using faith with action and correcting your mistakes, this will help you with your will to align with God's. As I said before, this is just a, a few examples. It's not all of what it takes in order for you to align your will to his. However, this will help you to get your foot in the right path. 
During my walk with Christ, when I realized that I align my will with His will, I've seen God working in my life in better ways. I've been able to hear from Him more. I've been able to have opportunities open for me that haven't been able to open before. When I align my will to His, I've been able to hear from Him more. I've been able to know what path I need to take and where I need to go. I have also had opportunities open up for me that hadn't happened before. I decided to align my will with his. Not only that, I've been able to meet so many great people that have been able to impact me for the better because God placed those people and to God be the glory because God placed those people in my life. And when we're in alignment, we can see God's plans unfolding. He has plans to prosper you. You can find God's plans for us in the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. I'll be reading from the New International Version. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. That's what God plans for you. And we have to align our will with his will in order to reach that. That's the plans that God has for you. That's what he wants for your life, a future hope, plans to prosper you. He doesn't want to cause you harm. And that's why it's important for us to align our will with his. This is just a piece of wisdom that God has shared with me in my life. And just because I know this doesn't mean that I'm not practicing it. This is something that I continually have to do because we all go through things. We all have ups, we all have downs, but it is our choice, our will to decide to do what God is willing to do in our lives. I hope that this word encourages you to be better and that you will be able to seek God's will and that you will be able to align yourself. Remember these things, listen to God, Use your faith with works and correct your mistakes. You are not a lost hope. God has plans for you and he has a future for you. Plans to help you prosper. If you like today's message, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit that notification bell so that you are notified when my next video comes out. And remember that every single day is a new opportunity to do better than your last. Be revolutionary.